In this video, we're going to be taking a step-by-step -step approach to adding mega menus as well as column dividers to your website's navigation. Here in the Snap Page dashboard, if we hover over the contact page, we can see that we have nested underneath it a need help page. This is more of a traditional navigation style where as you nest pages together, they develop a dropdown below. Instead, we're going to see what we can do to add a new look utilizing a mega menu that will give your end users direct access to the content they're looking for. Let's get started by creating a new page. I'm going to create a new contact mega menu page. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this contact. And then I like to identify my pages that I'm using mega menus by adding an MM or you could say contact menu, something to help me identify that this is my mega menu page. So later when I want to make changes, I know exactly which one I'm working with. All right, now that we have a page here, let's add some content to it. For the sake of the video, we'll just keep it really simple. I'm going to take a pre-built section. We'll use this section here. I'll just change this title to need help. Okay, I no longer need the blank section that the page started with, so I'm just gonna delete that. That's now been deleted. I think I want to move my divider up above need help just so it kind of looks like it's coming down from the contact page that'll be above it here. And then I'm just gonna make a design choice here. I don't wanna have too many people or too much content directly accessible from that mega menu. I could always add a button or something later if need be to direct them to another page. So I'm gonna remove one of the characters here. And then quickly, I'll just make an adjustment. We're gonna have eight here for that section, and eight for this section. There we go. So now we got three evenly spaced people. And that's it, our mega menu's done. I'm just kidding, we'll take a deeper look. So I'm gonna publish this page and then what we'll do now, just so we can kind of see it in action, is we'll come over here to our page list. And what we're looking to do is take a top level navigation page, meaning not a subset page. So for instance, just as an example, I have a subset like need help page. I can't do anything with the need help page as far as a mega menu. So it has to be a top level navigation menu page. So that means home, about, contact here. So I'm going to hit the three dots on my contact page and I will do settings. Here you will see a new option for mega menus. When I turn this on, I'll be given the opportunity to select a page. Now I'm going to be looking for my new mega menu page that I want to be visible from the drop down. So remember, I created a, a contact MM page. I have an alternate page here that I can swap in and out if I want. But the one we just created was called Contact MM. So I'm going to select that one. And I will choose it. And we'll click Save. So now, if we go to the live version of my site, I'll refresh. And when I hover over Contact, instead of seeing Need Help as a page to jump to, I now have this mega menu that appears. Now, you'll notice it's it's kind of far down and there's a little bit of extra play to scroll. So what I want to do is I want to go back into that page and I'm going to play around with my padding in order to get that adjust to where I want. And just to kind of keep things neat, I like to add all of my mega menu pages into a folder. That way I can collapse that down, just kind of keep things organized. So working with the contact MM, that's the page we just created. Here's our mega menu. I'm gonna come over to my section options on the right hand side. 
And here I'm going to play around with some of my padding. I may, I may actually get rid of all of it. I'm not sure yet. Let's just go ahead and pull all of it down. Then we'll publish that change. We'll go back to the live version. Have that already open in the tab. I'm just going to refresh. And then we're going to take a look. Yeah, that looks much better. And I could even go in between, um, you know, into the individual blocks for like for need help and for this divider here. And I could adjust the block options for these individual blocks. And I could reduce the padding on them if I wanted to bring the content even higher into the page. So that's another option uh, that you could play around with and do. But that's pretty much it. From here, you may want to, you know, going along with our example, link to the email addresses into the pictures or into the names of these staff members that could be assisting or helping. Um, and that would give them direct access from the contact page to where they could click a picture and it would automatically open up an email or give information needed from there. I have a couple more examples. I'm not necessarily recommending that you add a mega menu to every menu option that you have in your navigation, but I just wanted to give you a couple options here. So this is simply if I'm going along with my website here, this is a coffee shop, right? So I have a menu block where I've added the top level of our menu here for the coffee options that we have available. I couldn't fit everything into this mega menu. Um, so what I did was I just added a button that would then redirect to the full menu that we have available for the website. And so that's just kind of how that I built that out. That's just a secondary page. So this is my full menu page. I can show you this on my page list. Okay, full menu, that's what that page is. And then have it being linked to this button here. So when you click on this button, it takes you to my full menu. So this is a mega menu, created it just like the others. So if I open up my mega menu folder and I go to menu MM, you can see it's a single section that I've pasted in our coffee options from our menu. And then I have a button that links to this full menu page. And that's essentially it. You would like to keep everything contained inside of a singular section and then reduce the overall vertical height of that section um, to fit the taste that you have for the menu design. Another option I have here, I have like an about page. So if I go to the full version of the site, when you hover over about, it's gonna bring up another mega menu. It's just gonna give us our founder and CEO, a little bit of a blurb. And then again, you can jump straight to the Our Story page. So it kind of gives you a brief glimpse where they don't have to actually click into a page and leave the page that they're on. They can read the content and then they could jump into the next page. Real quickly, let's take another look at our Contact MM page. When we are, actually we're gonna look at Contact MM too. When we're adding different sections into the navigation, oftentimes it's really nice to have a divided columns or segmented columns, what we're calling column dividers here that allow us to adjust the width of these columns. It keeps things nice and neat. Essentially, they work like the horizontal columns that we were used to, horizontal dividers that we're used to having um, on the regular pages. But now that we're trying to fit content into the mega menu, it's really nice to have these dividers added that help break up the page into multiple sections. The way you turn this on, over on the right-hand side where your section options are, you will now see a toggle to turn on column dividers. So these can be turned off and on. And it's just a subtle change there, but it really, really works out well when you're trying to build out a center section of column or a right and left section. And if you needed to, you could add another block that would just build on um, another column. And that is mega menus along with column dividers.